Friends of the 16-year-old shot by Espanola police this weekend say he was an athlete and dancer who served as a mentor to others. Police say he had a weapon, but they're not saying much more about the circumstances. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez is live in Espanola with new details. Flowers, candles, and notes. A memorial for 16-year-old Victor Vielpando now sits across the street from where the teen was shot and killed by police. State police say just before 10 a.m. Sunday, Española police were responding to a call of a suspicious person. Surveillance video from a nearby smoke shop shows first one officer, then two others, walk toward Corlette Street. Moments later, one officer runs back around the corner. It appears there's something in his hand. What happened next was caught on this camera, but that video is in the hands of police. State police say the teen pointed a weapon at the officers, and that's when one officer opened fire. Vielpando died moments later at the hospital. My heart stopped. I was deeply, deeply uh, confused. Confused because Roger Montoya says that Vielpando was no criminal, saying the teen was a gymnast, dancer, and a teacher at his studio, Moving Arts Española. In the last two years, classical ballet, which led him to a successful audition for the New Mexico School of the Arts, where he was headed this September. Instead, those he taught and danced with at the studio are left with questions like what was the weapon that cops say he was holding? Montoya says he's heard that Virpando may have had a stick, which he says is used in karate practice. My interpretation of the stick was that he had acquired it and was practicing with the stick, which he often did. Then there are reports he had a gun. I cannot fathom him having a gun on even his body, much less holding it and pointing it at somebody. Now state police say when officers confronted the teen, they tried to de-escalate the situation, but they say when he pulled out a weapon, that's when one of the officers fired. Witnesses say they shot the teen right by this wall. Now at this time, state police are not confirming just what kind of weapon Vielpando allegedly had in the incident. No officers were injured. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Crystal. Now, Montoya says Villopando was the student who was accused of making a bomb threat in a text message against McCurdy Charter School in January, but state police say they ruled the threat was not credible and he was never charged.